Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. This is Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and on Instagram. And we have another What's Old video for you guys today. I think first we're going to start off by opening this viewer mail. This actually came from one of our good friends, Mimi, over at Thrift Trippin'. And we got to meet Mimi at FlipCon. She is probably one of the funniest people I've ever met. So she comes to our live show on Thursday nights. And we were mentioning that Kathy had some... Uh, what is it? Your, it's not Sriracha, it's but it's the same a, brand. It's like chili paste. Yeah. I don't even know how to say the brand, but. Yeah. So and I think that's what she said. Although this box This is, is a big cute, box for so that. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what to expect here. If this is a box full of that, I owe you like $300. <laughs> um, Let's see. Right. What do we got? Aww. Oh, What? Jeez, it's like a whole it's gift like a package. package. This is so nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, some doggy stuff for Reese. I wish he was here. We've still never been to Bucky's. I don't know. I go. think they're building one up in Denver, I though. Know. I'm not going to read all this on camera. Because... Should we? Let's take a minute and read it <laughs> off camera, and then we'll make sure. Okay. <laughs> all right. So all we... right. The gist is um, she was already going to send us this awesome. This is what I wanted so bad. Guys, guys, bolo, bolo in case this. you didn't know, <laughs> this stuff is... Like, this is literally selling for $30 a bottle on eBay right now. My this goodness. is going in my tummy in the next month or so. <laughs> but yes, this stuff is so good. When it comes back in stock, you should try it out. Thank you, Mimi. Mimi. And then she said this, she was sending that anyway, so she wanted to include stuff for the boys, for Reese, for me and Chris. Super Thank awesome. Thank you, Mimi. And we are also looking forward to seeing you at FlipCon again yes. this year. So, thank you. She just had a new Bucky's open up around her, yeah. so she <laughs> went on a, a little bit of a spree, and oh my goodness. The kids are gonna go crazy. Man, I've heard Bucky's snacks are awesome. Yeah? So the shirts were for the boys. Beaver nuggets. Oh, she did mention her um, granddaughter snuck <laughs> the other cotton candy, so <laughs> that's good because our boys yeah. will just eat this in like one second. So they'll share it and not go too crazy. So Bucky Nuggets, what yes, are those? Beaver Nuggets. Oh, Beaver Nuggets. <laughs> are they like cheese puffs or something? It looks like maybe like some sort of peanut snack. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to try yeah, them all. You know what? Them. Let's. We're going to save all this stuff and we'll try it out on, on our, our next live show. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we have not experienced mm -hmm. anything Bucky's. We'll even let Reese try out his... She told me not to eat these. So <laughs> we'll let Reese try out his Jam. stuff. We'll do a little tasting party. I love cups like this. Oh, nice. Mimi, oh my goodness. My doggy. Mimi. Super, this super generous. Thank we'll, you buy so <laughs> we'll buy you a drink at FlipCon. We'll buy you as many chances as you want. <laughs> okay. All right. Super awesome. Thank you, Mimi. Guys. Just made my whole day, my whole life. Thank you. Yes. We do have some sales. Yeah, so we also, I, I did want to mention in the beginning that Kathy did go to the bins twice, right, this week, and you did not find enough for a whole haul video, so we're yeah. not going to have anything like a haul this week, but you did find something <laughs> that we kind of mentioned a little bit, teased it a little bit in the last video, and it has the potential to be a really, really big sale for us, um, but we'll show you guys at the end of this video. It's just the one thing that she found, <laughs> but it probably was worth the two times that you went to the... Hopefully. Prob hopefully. Yeah. That's the <laughs> key word, hopefully. Luckily, I mean, the times I went to the bins, it's like I found a couple things that I'll sell to make my money, yeah. but it's just like when you figure your time, your gas, like the bins is about 30 minute drive each way for us, so that's an hour, yeah. not including my shopping time. You don't really want to then break you have even. To list it, right. Yeah. So like the second time I went to try to get a haul enough big enough to do a video i only found like a bag of stuff and maybe like two or three items to sell the rest were just like some stuff for yeah. us to use around the house so and did you show the thing i'm talking about on instagram at all? i haven't showed it yet <laughs> okay so this is going to be new to you guys yeah. stay tuned to the end but we are going to pull what sold for us right now yeah um a couple came in since we left the house so box i Starbucks Colorado tumbler. I bought it with my points, so I just paid the three dollars over the twenty, and I sold it on Posh for forty with discount shipping. So pretty awesome sale. Very nice. Um, CV, and I didn't separate my labels today. So. Uh oh. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's up here. Oh. <laughs> Can you go? I'm gonna get oh my, my steps today. <laughs> uh, um. 
This was one of my son's old shirts. Brand is Lulu and Rue. I didn't write down. I think it's sold for 18 plus ship. You'll see it on, well, the screenshot might say a different price, but I'm pretty sure I sent an offer of 18 plus ship, but okay. I forgot to write it on here. So yeah, it was my son's. I probably paid 15 to 20, but making back probably 15 after the fees. The last item that sold since we left the house is actually at the house because I just listed it yesterday. It's a pair of like Crocs men's flip flops. So Chris will put up the screenshot, yeah. but it's, um, they sold for 3111 plus ship and I bought them for 7.99. So nice little Crocs Yeah, not sale. bad. Crocs, they still do really they good really for us. They really do. And those, I, I didn't look at the full price, but I saw they sold um, global shipping, which means the buyer probably paid a ton of money to get them. Hmm. I didn't check where they were going or anything, but. I mean, yeah, they'd already paid thirty-one eleven plus my ten ninety-nine shipping plus more shipping to wherever they're going. They probably paid like eighty bucks for these crops. <laughs> All right. Um, I remember these. Yeah, Chris found these. <laughs> I listed them. So teamwork. Okay. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we picked these up on a date night thrifting for twelve ninety-nine at a Goodwill. Sold them for sixty-three with discount shipping on Posh. Sweet. That same day, yesterday, these sold. Um, somebody had offered like thirty-six. Yeah. And I was considering taking it because honestly, the comps we were seeing on eBay were only like maybe 40. Yeah. So I was like, you actually oh. countered, didn't you? I countered, yeah, because this person that offered 36 had a pair in their closet for like 50 something that were in <laughs> way worse condition. So I was like, yeah. No. Anyways, but yeah, then they sold the same day to someone else for 63 with discount shipping. So very happy about that. that yeah. Was an awesome profit. But yeah, I was considering the 36 because I was like, well, that's about a doubling of our money pretty mm -hmm. quickly. And yeah, but I'm glad I held up. So. Absolutely. All right, CT. Some natives. These are adult size. I rarely find them in adult size. Um, but bought for $5.99, sold for $20 plus shipped. Um, $20 on posh. Someone also I accepted. Right. Box W is right behind your head. <laughs> I thought these were cool. Um, a lot of Adidas don't sell for a ton, but. These ones, the comps were decent. They're, they're just like a plaid flannel shoe. I don't know, I thought they were cool and they're like a platform. So I paid $7.99, sold for 40 with discount shipping. So not too bad. Yeah, are those older or are they? No, I don't think they're super old because I feel like platform is like a newer yeah. thing again. So. Okay. All right, GD. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to say that every time now. <laughs> Where Last time we I joked that we had to censor it out. <laughs> a lot of people we got questions me. why. <laughs> yeah. Um, these are those Rudies. I think that's how you say it. I guess they were a wrestling shoe. Bought for twelve ninety nine. Sold for sixty with discount shipping. So, yeah. Not too bad. Those sold within the first month. Sometimes we think we're funnier than we yeah. are, but <laughs> GD, are. gosh darn, right? <laughs> so. We are funny to ourselves. Though. That's how it matters. Right? <laughs> that's true. I'm coming down to BR. Yeah, I noticed so on your last video. So like, if you guys don't know, Chris like obviously records and then edits and then mm -hmm. uploads all the videos. So I don't really do any of the YouTube other than be here and tell you what I sold. But like where, where I said very bread and butter brands. <laughs> yeah. um, and then you like typed out a funny thing on the screen and I was just like reading the comments to see if anyone thought it was funny, but nobody did. And then one time when we were talking about Furbeezies, we thought we were so funny. Not a single comment said anything uh. about it. So it's just funny that we, we think it's funny and it's hey you know what if i can make us, you laugh you're you're my matters. only audience for, right now at yeah. least, so <laughs> um so these converse i paid eight so for 27 with discount shipping on posh very nice yeah all right box y this is riley and crew one of my son's old rash guards this one had a bunch of like you know how like swimsuits get like those little snags all in them? Yeah. So I had a bunch of those. So he did wear it quite a bit. I bought it for 15 off Kittizen last year and I sold it for 12 with discount shipping on Posh. So probably making back like seven. But I sold the trunks that kind of matched it the other day and made a couple bucks. So my kid got to wear a really nice swimsuit all summer and I probably only lost $5. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Because like the retail on a swimsuit from Riley and Crew, like with the two pieces is like a hundred bucks. So to only lose five and my kid got to wear it. That that makes me so happy. Um, 
some Sanook. Yeah, some Sanook. Bought for $9.99. Sold for $26.66 plus ship. Those sold fairly quickly. Um, Sanook, I would consider a very bread and butter brand. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We're not, I'm not putting it on the screen this time. You guys no. didn't laugh. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's not funny. I'm going up to J. <clears throat> Uh -huh. Some youth size Under Armour swim trunks, bought for five, sold for twenty-one, no, twenty-two, twenty-one plus shipping. So I had several of those. That was the last to sell. BV. Made a kid is in sale. Hey. Link in description <laughs> if you want to drink it. Is in that I make a sale every week or so on one sale. Yeah. I still love kids and I still buy stuff for our boys and stuff on there. So. It is a very specialty, but it, ver is. it is slower. There's a lot of us. Yeah. It's a very small market compared to eBay and Poshmark. Yeah, when we started um, YouTube, it was pretty much all I was doing. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of Posh, but yeah. Yep. I, it holds a special place in my heart and I can't quit it. So <laughs> I did sell these play shoes there, though, for forty four ten with free shipping. Um, these are my son's. So I don't know what I bought them for, but the shipping was six eighty five. So I'm still making back over thirty dollars. I probably didn't pay more than thirty when he wore them. So yeah. If you have a lot of high-end kids, yeah. like boutique brands and stuff like that, you can get a good following on there, and you can get a lot of repeat buyers on Kidism. So yeah. if that's you, <laughs> go check it out. Um, these are yeah. Well, the FPFG men's just shorts. I bought for four, sold for 22 21 plus shipping. Sandals I bought for $9.99, sold for $44.46 plus shipping. Awesome. Not too bad for some sass. Yeah, I'm pretty selective on sass these days, but that was like a newer, nicer style, I thought. Yeah. And they did well. I do want to mention, I feel like we'll get this question anytime we get, like, pull something that's, like, sass starts with an S, right? Uh, I think some people assume, yeah. like, well, that must mean that they put all of their S in S boxes, right? <laughs> that was just kind of how it was this time. It's very random. <laughs> Super random. I'm like, yeah. Matt, what else is there any? And the Starbucks thing would have probably been in there. Right. Obviously, there's not. I don't know. Then how We'd have to have 20 box S's, 20 box A, you know. That'd be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, that was just a weird coincidence. Yeah. Uh, and it is random. We do just track that this, on our spreadsheet, that this was in box S. <laughs> we find the space and then record it in that space, so just want to point that out because we do get that question from time to time. And we do have a free spreadsheet download in the description. I feel yeah. like we haven't said that in a while. So. And in that video, it kind of explains how we do that, too. So if you want more information, go check out that video that goes along with the spreadsheet. All right. Last sale of today was these Nike. I think these are the SBs or something. Um, yeah, I bought these for $12.50. Sold for $35.56 plus shipping. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I think we're going to go ahead, go home, get the stuff all packed up, maybe have some lunch. Oh, we got to pick up the kids. Pick up the kids from VBS. They're at VBS. Mm -hmm. And then we will show you guys the cool find that Kathy had. I'm excited about it. I don't even know if I want you to sell it. So <laughs> everything that's like, I know <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm bad that way. Um, but yeah, let's let's head home and we'll see you guys there. All right, so Kathy's got everything all packed up and on our way home, well, we had lunch, we picked up the kids and we had two other sales and Kathy's gonna show you what they were. We did end up going and getting them yeah. uh, before we came home. So yeah. <laughs> we went back to the, the storage unit real quick. It wasn't too it was far. pretty much we were yeah. right by where we were. So um, yeah, these three birds sold, which was an awesome sale. I showed these in a recent haul, paid 15 at a Goodwill, sold for 117 plus shipping. So That's that awesome. awesome. That's Staying awesome. Staying in Colorado. I always think it's fun when stuff's just going to Colorado. Like three items today were going to Colorado. Um, and then this one they haven't paid, but I'm sure they will because they have like a thousand reviews on eBay. So uh, I grabbed it. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren like denim blazer. I bought for 10 and sold for 49 plus shipping on eBay. So. All right. Obviously can't ship it today, but hopefully they pay and I'll ship that out tomorrow. It'll probably go out tomorrow. All right. So now. The, the cool thing you got from the bins. We're gonna we're gonna cut real quick and then we'll be right back. All right, there it is. Kathy found this awesome vintage super soaker with the backpack. It's all like so, painted and stuff. But. Yeah. So uh, I'll put up some 
comps on the screen, <laughs> but yeah, like Kathy said, they did paint it. This should be yellow. You can kind of see the, the yellow here. They painted it with gray and black and it does not hold pressure. But this in good condition sells for 250 bucks. And um, I think bad condition parts, you could sell for 50 bucks. What, yeah. what are the cost you maybe? I mean, my whole bin saw this day costs like 30. So yeah. I'm imagining. I mean, I had to get it. If nothing else, just to show you guys that super soakers in general. I knew, yeah. I couldn't figure out which this one was with Google Lens that day, but Chris figured it out. But, yeah. um, Cause it was, you yeah. were pulling up gray ones, right? Right. And there, so this is the CPS. Yeah. 3200, right? D developed by NASA. <laughs> <laughs> so They're banned knows. because they were like. <laughs> I wanted to make sure to let well, all of you guys know that the vintage super soakers are worth something. So if you find one yeah. at a garage sale or at a thrift, check it out, pick it up. I'll put another screenshot here that shows the best one, the CPS. 1000 or something like that. It doesn't have a backpack, but it's got like a little purple bubble on the back and that one goes for like five, 600 bucks. These like made for, for kids. Yes. Or, yeah. Like how I can't imagine like our eight year old, like holding this up and like trying to use it. Well, you know, it's we were, heavy. we were a little bit of a different breed back in the nineties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I kind of want to try to fix this. Maybe try to strip the paint off, see if I can get it to hold some pressure. Um, because yeah, we could sell it for, you know, 50 bucks maybe, but if we fix it up now, there's no stickers. It doesn't have the decals. Um, so it probably wouldn't be a full restoration or anything, but, um, don't point that at me, <laughs> <laughs> but it could be fun. This is, you know, this is, this is our childhood, right? I know I never, I never had one of these cause we were too broke as, <laughs> as a kid. I don't know um, if I had any super soakers. But I remember kids had these and I was so jealous. I wanted one and <laughs> Now we got one. Now, now I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> one. <laughs> hey, what if it, I'm going to get it to work. That's going to be my summer project. Yeah, Aside from the house and, and school. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we just wanted to show you that. I think it's awesome. And do keep an eye out for Super Soakers. Huge Bolo, the vintage ones. And Laramie, I think is the brand. Yeah, you can kind of see here. Look out for Laramie. And um, yeah. Yeah. Awesome find. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you picked Thanks. that up and found it. <laughs> glad my time wasn't 100% wasted. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.